What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm out with my R6 again but no worry guys, I won't be running into anyone I won't be coming to contact with anyone so I'm still safe out here so it'll be just me, myself and my R6 so today I'll be sharing with you about my R6 so before the start of today's video let's head to the petrol station as my R6 is getting thirsty So I filled up my tank So ever since I started my YouTube motor vlog channel I've been riding my R6 So I've been riding my R6 for about 4 years and I've received lots of DMs, comments and queries about my R6 So today I'm going to do a video about sharing the pros and cons about my R6 So the pros and cons will cover pretty much like the cost of owning this bike and my personal experience of riding this R6 So for the past 4 years I doesn't have any issues with the bike The bike doesn't give me any problem so the only issues I have 2 years ago back in 2008 is the jerking issue So initially I thought it was the spark plug issues So I went to the workshop to get a new spark plug replacement But until the next day, the jerking issues still persist So I went back to the bike shop again to get the workshop guys to diagnose the issue for me And they found that it was actually the initial coil that caused misfiring and this is the reason why my bike is jerking badly so I left my bike at the workshop for about 2 weeks to get it fixed 
So other than the joking issue will be those wear and tear parts like the tires, brake pads, chain and sprockets and the cost of these wear and tear parts are pretty much the same for all bikes because these wear and tear parts are universal they can be widely used on any bikes so the spare parts for this Yamaha R6 is pretty cheap unless you are talking about the Continental bikes as you guys know Continental bikes are very expensive the spare parts for the Continental bikes are also expensive and they requires a longer time to order and ship it over to Singapore this is the reason why I'm not riding a Continental bike so as you guys know R6 is a very popular bike in the 600cc category and this bike it doesn't suit everyone who is not that tall so I'm about 166 cm tall and this bike suits me really well although when the bike is at a stationary position it requires me to tiptoe quite a bit but I'm still feeling comfortable with the bike so R6 is one of the tallest bikes in the 600cc category it has a seat height of 850 mm So with a high seat height and a low handlebar position, it will make your riding posture pretty aggressive. So after a long period of riding, you'll felt the numbness on your finger, you'll felt the soreness on your palm and there will be redness on your palm. But right now I'm wearing a glove, so you guys won't be able to see the redness on my palm. So R6 is also well known to have a hot engine So after a long period of riding There will be a burn mark on your shin and your inner thigh of a leg So every time when I ride my R6 I will always wear a long pants It will also give you an additional protection while we are riding So overall I would say Yamaha R6 is a pretty good bike to ride in Singapore the power is decent, the insurance premium is low, the road tax is also low and the handling is fabulous, it maneuvers around the traffic really well So riding a 600cc bike in Singapore is more than enough so the reason why I got an R6 four years back is because the design of this R6 attracts me I really like the design of this R6 especially the sharp nose, the sharp tail It really caught me in the eye And I doesn't have any hesitation getting this bike So if you were to ask me which bike is the best looking bike in the market, I would say this I would say the Yamaha R6 is the best looking bike in the 600 cc category. Unless you're talking about the 1000 cc bike, I would say the BMW S1000 RR is the most beautiful bike in the 1000 cc category. And BMW S1000 RR is my dream bike, and they are very expensive to own. So right now in the second hand market, a BMW S1000RR would easily cost you for about 20 to 30,000 Because BMW consider a continental bike, the bike is expensive, the spare price is also expensive So I've dropped the idea of getting a BMW S1000RR So riding a 1000cc bike in Singapore is pretty overkill because everywhere is traffic light you have to stop and go, stop and go, stop and go so it really defeats the purpose of getting a 1000cc bike in Singapore unless you are doing mostly on highway riding, track riding or touring but never know maybe one day I might get a 1000cc bike 
but of course not the BMW S 1000 RR because they are very expensive so if I'm really getting a 1000cc bike I might get the 2012 Yamaha R1 because right now the Yamaha R1 in the used market are pretty affordable but of course in the exchange of higher insurance premium and higher road tax Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. So for those guys who are watching this video, if you are considering or deciding whether to get this R6 for your next ride, if you have any questions about this R6, please comment down below and I will try to answer all the questions I can. And all I could say is I have no regrets getting this R6. It suits me really well, the power is decent and I really love the look of the bike. And also please do remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Ride safe, stay safe and bye! Oh, 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 oh,